एंड वेलकम ऑल टू माई YouTube चैनल माई नेम इज नतालिया अग्रवाल एंड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल थैंक यू फॉर सब्सक्राइबिंग टू माई चैनल हु हैव नॉट डन इट यट प्लीज डू इट राइट अवे डू लाइक शेयर कॉमेंट एंड इन कॉमेंट सेक्शन यू कैन लेट मी नो वॉट आर द अदर वीडियोज दैट यू वुड लाइक टू सी एंड लर्न फ्रॉम सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू कवर द टॉपिक दैट इज स्टैंडर्डाइजेशन वर्सेज नॉर्मलाइजेशन there is quite a confusion about these two that what is meant by standardization and what is meant by normalization first of all both are used for feature scaling so let's see the difference between them so what is standardization and what is normalization uh standardization is basically it means to rescale the data to have a mean of 0 and a standard deviation of 1 Be, uh, to fit in a standard normal distribution because any standard normal distribution will have a mean of 0 and standard deviation of 1 although people confuse standardization with normalization but that's the main difference then comes normalization normalization means to rescale the data into a range of 0 to 1 different types of standardization techniques are there and normalization also let's see what are those in a standardization you have standard scalar where you convert it into z scale okay or z score conversion happens that is x minus mean divided by standard deviation that's the formula for standard scalar on which it works uh, all the values ranges between minus 3 to 3 that is as per the empirical rule if it fits the standard normal distribution next is the robust scalar in a standard scalar if you have outliers it would be impacted by outlier but robust scalar will take care of outliers if you have too many outliers you can go with robust scalar next is quantile transformer it is also standardization technique it uses uh, quantile values or basically your iq or the value is used over here then is log transformer it makes your skewed distribution to normal distribution that's where you use log transformer then power transformer scalar it makes normal uh, uh means it also get your data into normal shape that's what standardization is but your power transformers are of different types like one is your box box transformation then one is your johnson transformation box box transformation works when you have all positive value it works only for positive value but if you have negative and positive both the values then your johnson is the transformation that you can work on in normalization you have min max scalar everybody would know about it the value ranges between 0 to 1 in this one then is max abs scalar this is max absolute scalar it takes uh, consideration uh, the formula is basically absolute max divided by the max value in this also value will range between 0 to 1 since we are only taking the positive value as it is absolute the next is unit vector normalizer it behaves like a min max scalar but uh, it also takes into account the negative values thus the value ranges between the rescaling value ranges between minus 1 to 1 now the question arises when i should use normalization and when to use standardization to be very frank there is no set rule it is a trial method that you will see which is giving you a better output but what i use as a shortcut is or i have it as a funda is that if your data is not for, uh, following a gaussian distribution then you can go with normalization if it follows the gaussian distribution or say the normal distribution and you want to rescale the data then you should go with standardization but again there is no set rule this is the ground work that you can do but there is hit and trial that you have to see that which is giving you a better output because all this would be used in your prediction it will help in your machine learning model so you can try and let me know in comment section which you think is better or if you have any other inputs also guys this is for today that we have covered standardization and normalization i'll record more videos on such topics where we have lot of confusion last time it was on pca component profiling different types of anova and different variants of anova like ancova manova mancova and all those things let me know in comments what else you want to see i got too many requests for data science interview questions definitely i would be recording but before that these are some of the basic concepts that everybody is confused in that's why i came up with this so do like share comment 
let me know in comment section if you want anything else or you want any changes till then take care bye and do subscribe to my channel thank you all